Hey guys, it's JC4, and on this part of the Mystical Ninja starring Dolmon the Remastering, what a hell of a title. It takes up a lot of space, too. We are going to continue on to the Chigoku region, which I am having difficulty locating because I'm an oaf. I am, am yay. Oh, yeah. Should be this way, then. There's no other options. It's a kid with no pants. And here we are. Now then, this place is pretty big. So we're going to be roaming around this little area a lot. And then after we take care of a small something, we're going to move on to our next dungeon. Ho ho, bastard. This door is a crack in it. So does my ass. We don't hear me talking about it. But in this Chigoku region, there are actually at least a good two whole hearts you can find here. So we gotta grab all that while we're here. And majority of it we can get now. So <clears throat> first things first, down over here. Who yeah. Now, usually I, or not usually, but sometimes I'll talk about beta stuff and all that, you know, in my own LPs. But, I'm actually a little empty on beta stuff when it comes to this game. Like, I've tried looking and I found basically nothing. So I'm a little disappointed at that. But I do know that they were planning a two-player feature in this game, so that much I know. That didn't work out for reasons I don't know. Probably because the whole 3D world, but... Ah, excuse me. They had that planned. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Great Adventure does have two-player mode, so... That worked, but this doesn't. I don't know. In other words, I have pretty much nothing on it. At least nothing I can think of. If there is something I forgot to mention, there I'll be an annotation. Now, over here, might want to get another one. And I have decided I am going to do a fortune all montage. I'm going to do it. I like the idea, so I want to use it. I don't know if I'm going to use the same track I used in the last... Ah! Now, back to what I was saying. Um, I do plan on using the idea again because I liked it. I'm just not sure if I want to use the same track or not. So, that's the only real thing I got going through my mind about it. And, unlike last time, it's going to be in the order that I pick them up. So, at least this way there's no confusion. Rather than the list that I made, which was out of order anyway. So, the this one's going to be neater. And it's going to have capture card quality, so you don't have to look at shit. How do I get over there again? Okay, that way. Alright, can I go back to being yay? Thank you. Yay is so much better. I just prefer her. Yay is my second favorite of the Gomon crew. First favorite, you'll be seeing soon. How soon? You'll find out. Well, there we go. We got two fortune alls in a random pot outside for god knows what reason. Oh, it does go into four digits. Sweet. I don't know. I've actually never done that before, so I don't, you know. It's kind of surprised me. 1010! The year that the world was supposed to end. Did you see what I did? Huh? Did you see what I did there? I made fun of people. If I can get another thousand coins, I will actually make that joke, so. You should have gotten 60 died coins, so that's the way I could screen cap it. Ah. You know who you are. Alright, back up, drummer boy. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Is actually these little things, those ballerina shits. Those are actually called clay dolls. Or at least that's what most of the enemies are supposed to be. They're all clay dolls. Which is... God, you guys must hate me. Is reminiscent to Great Adventure. 
And watch, right as soon as I LP Great Adventure, I'm not going to have anything to talk about. I'll be like, well, I already said it all in Mystical Ninja. Oi! And my ear itches. So I'm going to itch it. I don't know this place, I got lost here once. Oi, screw off. Golden Snitch, Bouncing Guys, Clay Dolls, everywhere, baddies! Anything down here? Okay, just make sure I wasn't the literal same path. There's a tree. And a dead end. And a golden snitch. And Big Bertha. Ah, what the hell was that for? Yeah. On back on the subject of my ear itching. I do know that, um, you know, I haven't really had a history of the best quality of anything. You know, videos and such, and audio. But, actually, you do know if you listen to, you know, you watch my stuff and you wear LP. Oh, what the fuck am I saying? If you watch LPs while wearing headphones, you'll be amazed how much louder things are. I mean, I'm no expert, but I used to think that everybody did that. Because, I mean, that's why I tolerated Ocarina of Time before. It was like, hey, I can hear it, you guys must have a problem. I never thought people actually sat there with their fucking speakers to their ears. Because that sounds kind of retarded to me. Can I, like, kill you? But no. I mean, if it's cool enough as where you can hear out your speakers, that's awesome, but you'd be amazed what Wonders headphones can do. Just saying. Because usually when I'm listening or watching an LP, or it's like, hey, I don't want you guys to hear. This is my private nerd time. Oh, and back up, unless I'm watching it with someone I know that's cool, then I'll, you know, they can hear it too. Or we could share headphones and look so cute together with our heads pressed against each other. <gasps> oh. My hair is all over my face, man. There's like this little lock that's just right in between my eyes. Alright, here we go. Welcome to the Inabadoon. It's amazing what a nice little scenario change this place has. It went from grassy fields to a desert. And I really remember this place as a child. Me and my friend Devin would often get lost in here because we never knew the way around. But it's rather simple. Just hang to the right. There's nothing else in this place to my knowledge. Maybe a surprise pack hidden, but that's about it. Just hang to the right and then you'll come across the oasis. And the oasis is what you need to come across. Because in other words, you're just stuck. And I always thought, like, the fact that they included a little desert or whatever inside this game, thats I thought that was cool. That's like, oh, hey, they're throwing in everything. Now, you found a battery. You have to get this battery first, so if you don't walk around and pick this up, you can't progress in the game. So, you'll see what I mean in a minute. Over here's another fortune doll. And since it's only a transition for you, I'm just going to go ahead and fly back to the coffee house that I walked into, so see you in a minute. But if you want to be a man and walk out, that's always cool too. That's what I did my first time. I just didn't feel like actually wasting something. This, that transition for me to edit out takes only about 30 seconds, so it's no biggie for me. It's your choice. If you want to do it that way, do it that way. If you want to walk out, walk out. I don't honestly care. Nobody is going to judge you. Do, 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 do. Now you need to walk up this hill. Because there's something up here for you, and my laptop is sliding down my knees, dude. It is trying to lay on my dick. I don't know what that sign says. I've never read it. I'm pretty sure it's nothing important. But... I don't know how I came to this conclusion, and it still amazes me to make today. This is just a large tree area. Nothing else. You know. Can I get a- okay, there we go. And somehow, when I was little, I came to the conclusion, take a picture of it. That's what you're supposed to do. 
I don't know how the hell I figured it out, and it blows my mind still. I've never played this before. I mean, you know, we were just like walking around, climbing up the tree, and we're like, what the hell do we do, dude? And I'm like, uh, try taking a picture of it. And then my childhood, my childish mind was blown when I found out that actually worked. So we're gonna go ahead, climb atop the tree, grab the battery, and we're good. Electroshine Unite! What the? Isn't that yay? What in the world am I doing here? Hey, that's what I wanted to know. Your batteries looked out of place and you just froze. That happened to me? Well, what happened? Huh. There seemed to be a glitch in my memory circuit. I'm having trouble remembering. I must hurry and have my wise little man repair it. Suzuki, that's your wise man. Well, there's an explosion and it demolished his whole house! And he was gone missing since, well, the explosion! What? Who could do such a thing? We believe it had to do with the Peach Mountain guys that we're after. My wise old man, really? By a guy's a crazy name with Peach Mountain? Ugh! I'm gonna crush those Peach Mountain guys. Let me go with you. Well, we didn't find you for nothing, my friend. Now, this guy is by far my favorite character and the coolest. I'm gonna walk out of here first because the character is so short he actually has to swim across it. The robotic ninja whose name I'm not gonna say just because I'm too fucking lazy to learn how to say it your guy's way and I prefer mine. So we're just gonna all deal with it. Now this guy's got freaking extension hair which I find freaking hilarious and awesome. He's got twin daggers and firecracker bombs. So he's a little robotic bomber man, I guess you could say. Now, the firecracker bombs are used to open cracked doors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and be all transitional and shit after I jump through this door and meet you guys by the beginning of the Chigoku region, the bison, bison, whatever. So I'll see you in a bit. Didn't have to, that was the actual correct door. So, that, that saved me. Ow. Effort. I just need to remember that. So, right here, we need to blow that up. And grab a golden fortune doll. But wait. If you remember, there was another crack door near the beginning, so let's go buy that. And yes, firecracker bombs cost money. Oh ho ho. Blow it up. And here's a silver fortune doll. So, we've literally gotten at least two complete hearts out of this. Four silver and one gold. And that's all in this region for the moment. We've revived our final member, my favorite. So let's go ahead and get on with the show. And head off to our next dungeon. My least favorite, but I'm going to have to deal with it. reason it's my least favorite is because it's such a bitch to navigate. Uh... As far as my favorite goes, it'd probably have to be Oedu because of the music, then maybe Ghost Toys. So, those, those ones are pretty boss, I guess. Let me try and find a way over to the friggin' castle. Leave you alone! Hua! I'm a mechanical ninja that has bombs and such. You really want to mess with me? Well... Not really much I can say at this moment. Uh, 